Hey guys, Ryan here for Movie Nerds. I'm going to talk all things about The Predator. And if you don't like spoilers, probably head out now because I'm going to ruin this whole thing and I'm going to talk about what didn't work, what did work, and probably everything in the middle. The first two acts of this film were almost, almost flawless. Um, I had great comedy, great actors, great ensemble cast. Um, the Predator looked awesome. It was uh, modern and it was futuristic. And um, the gore and the action at the start of the film, especially when they were at the uh, the lab sequence, was unbelievable. Predator ripping off heads, gushing out like jaws and stuff. Everything you could possibly want from a Predator film. And then they started heading over to suburbia, and I thought that's where the movie would start going downward. But it was fine, it was good, I was enjoying it. I was like, why are all these reviewers giving this film bad reviews? How could they possibly not enjoy this? Ah, but then we started heading into the third act, and that's where things started going downhill. Things didn't connect, they were doing things that weren't even a part of the first or second act, like nothing connected, everything fell apart. I, why were we here in this sequence? Why were these characters doing this? What happened to the storyline of this movie? And I think it all comes down to a previous screening earlier before the film. There was a previous screening where people had watched the earlier cut of the film and it was believed to be uh, poorly received. And so that got the studio worried. That got 20th Century Fox worried. And so they said, shit, Let's grab Shane Black, let's grab the entire cast back, and let's reshoot the ending and give it a whole new ending. And the ending, I don't know what to say about it. It's clearly different than what we were going to get. Rumors had it that the ending was going to be set uh, at Area 51 in Roswell, and we we're going to get a team up of predators and humans fighting this super predator. Now, pictures were leaked about this, and uh, it, showed, it showed off what could have potentially been a really different outcome for this movie. I don't know if it was going to be better, but judging by the first two acts of the film that were actually quite good, and you had to kind of, for me, you had to kind of believe that Shane Black was going to pull off this final sequence. And of course it would have been completely different than what anybody would have expected being that it would have been uh, predators and humans teaming up against a super predator. But anything I think would have been better than the ending we've got of this film. Um, but, you know, it, it, all in all, the movie, I don't think, was terrible. Um, I think the first the first act and the second act were awesome. I had a really good time with them. The action was unreal. The gore and stuff like that, as I said, was awesome. Um, but it was the third act, yeah, it just fell apart for me. And I, I just feel like studios need to stick by their guns and believe in their directors and, um, you know, believe in the movie that they're trying to create because you've hired them for a reason. And Shane Black now is going to be tarnished because of this. And you've tarnished this director because you've decided that, the studio, what I'm talking about, is the, has decided that, you know, they don't believe in his craft, they don't believe, believe in his work, and now they're going to force him to make this, you know, abysmal third act of a film, which is getting horribly reviewed. And, you know, for the next movie he's going to make, he's either not going to get as big a budget, he's not going to get as big of a blockbuster, or he might not even get another movie because the nice guys didn't really work out for him, Iron Man 3 didn't really work out for him, and now The Predators hasn't worked out for him. So... Where does that leave Shane Black? Probably not in a good place. Um, so, what I'm trying to say is, 20th Century Fox, you were, you're getting bought out by Disney. You could have done anything with this movie. It wouldn't have mattered because it, you know, it was going to be your final film anyway. So, why did this have to happen? I don't bloody know. I've got no answers for it. But what I'm trying to say is, leave the movies alone. Let the directors be the directors, but let the producers be the producers and make the movie that they were going to make to begin with because that's what you hired them for. That's what you paid them for. And don't fuck around with things just because a couple of people have seen it in a previous screening and didn't like it because now we've got this shit film that we've got to live with the rest of our lives. So, yeah, what do you guys think about it? I'd love to know what you guys thought of Predator. If you liked the ending, if you would have preferred this new ending that I talked about, or if you just would have liked something completely different. I mean, there was also another rumor saying that um, Arnold Schwarzenegger could have appeared at the end, which would have been awesome. I mean, I love Arnold Schwarzenegger, obviously, obviously but, um, you know, at the end of the day, that probably wasn't going to happen because Arnie's Arnie. Why would you want to put Arnie in a film and just have him in it for five minutes? But it could have happened.
But yeah, let me know in the comments. I want to know what you guys think because this is going to be talked about. And until next time, I'll catch you nerds at the movies. <laughs>